back to work. Go on. And here is one more step in the overall process. This side is definitely the worst of the two. Yeah, if this were a professional, modern day, perfect motorcycle helmet, this is like way off from there. However, to simulate years of use and abuse, this is what happens. And like I said, this side didn't turn out too badly. It's still nowhere near perfect whatsoever. Don't get me wrong on that. It's possible another coat of silver would eliminate a lot of the lesser details. However, I don't know if I want to do that. This was done going on 10 hours ago. And I'm going to give it a full 48 hours before I touch it again. I may sand off some pieces like those right there and then just give a quick repaint thicken it up then. Well I've never really listened to the directions on the paint having actually just read them when I started this. It says uh, if you're gonna do a recoat do it within an hour and then don't do anything for a full 48 hours. You can see that's a fair good mess in there. One innovation I had in this is you know you're always getting spray paint there's even some on my arm right in there on your arm even though you've got the gloves on you're still going to get it around your wrists. I was looking for some plastic wrap but I had this parchment paper, wax paper nearby so I just taped the piece together and all of a sudden all of a sudden I've got a gauntlet. All I really have to do is wrap the glove edges around the outside of this and Now I have a paint-proof seal. Completely paint-proof all the way up to my arm. Doesn't change mobility at all. And real simple and easy to do. Free beats everything. And over on these guys, they're all done. This is no longer tacky at all. It's fully cured and in relatively good condition. I should probably give this back side a spray just to seal that up and then call it done done. Over here, this has been done for a while. I've just kept it in here while it degasses and it is starting to get dirty. As are these guys here with a little bit of overspray. In this case, it's silver overspray, so it kind of looks like it's eating through to this undersurface, but uh, it's not. Not as much on this, but I got to clean both of these off. So I should get these out of here and probably give the whole thing a good cleaning at some point. It's starting to get a bit dirty with all of the sanding that I've been doing inside here. So let's see what's next. Well, about two minutes ago, I sprayed this with a bit of silver and then almost immediately gave it some uh, primer white. And you can see how it's pulling away everywhere. It doesn't matter in this side at all, simply because that's the underneath of what goes right there. However, the way the paint is breaking up right along these edges, that's going to look really beautiful. And I didn't paint any of the outsides. Let's actually move that out of the wet paint over there. So everything else is going to be safe, but the way that's going to break up the paint right in there. There should be some interesting effects going on here. A few more minutes it'll keep changing. But I really should have washed that before I painted it. So that's it for this one. And so it's just 24 hours later at 16 hours I went and did a sanding and a few minutes ago I just did a secondary sanding I gotta do a couple small touch-ups right now but yeah this is essentially looking like metal pretty nicely it's a 
lot of fine textures that I think will finally go away with the next layer of silver. And then after that I'll be going with a base black, then white, and proceeding from there. Now some of the corners got really dirty, others were pretty clean to begin with, so that was a handy thing. Probably the most unfortunate thing is all the dust and grit under the mohawk line. Because essentially that may never go away, unless I get like an X-Acto blade perhaps. But even then, just as there seems to be a bond right here, but not up here, And down there, I'll probably just wind up puttying that very small amount in. But that will be a fix for later that I would then repaint over to make it look as if it's additional weathering. So I gotta do a little light sanding right in here, but otherwise, this is ready to go to the next layer of silver. With a slight more dash of work to that area there, huh, there's still even a single water drop left. That's it for that. Let's set up and get some paint going. Now this is the last of my silver, so I gotta make it count. There we go. You can see how well my trusty arm guard works here. And I still got about a fifth left. So I made up a list of all the paint that's gone down so far and I was really shocked to see I'm up to like 17 or 18 layers. However, I am just about done at this point. It's just down to the final colors now. But on top of the bare plastic went a primer white with a primer brown, then a fire orange, safety yellow, satin almond, then a light dusting of the brown, a full pass of silver, then I went with three layers of white until it was a really solid white, sanded that down, Gave it some more primer brown, another rust layer, fire orange, CFD yellow, but I skipped the almond this time with a final dusting of primer brown again. I am now on the far side of the third silver pass, each layer of which has been getting ground down successively and successively. So at this point, for a professional motorcycle job, this would be an absolute failure right now. For a beat up war helmet, this is going to look sweet when uh, you see the final colors and everything is done. There isn't really anything sticking out at me as far as uh, a bad situation. Right now I'm sitting at just about 22 hours since this was painted. So technically I should wait another full day, however, I might just go for some whites in the very future. However, I might just go for my white layers uh, sooner than later. And as you can see, I'm dressed for the occasion. The relatively new innovation I had, I was going to get some plastic wrap, but I had some uh, wax paper, parchment paper, wrap that around my arm. Now it's a gauntlet fits under the glove so no paint can get in under that way and uh, so far it's been lasting probably about a good week or so more about that in its own video here's the one big regret that I am definitely regretting about this I should not have put this top strip on until after the entire thing was painted all that's happening now is getting lots of dust and crud inside along that edge and it doesn't look 
it's going to be a pain to clean it out of there and it doesn't look all that great as is unless it happened to fill in as much as that did right there or down here filled in relatively nicely so what I'll probably be doing is patching all that after all this is painted sometime down the road because I'm in no rush and uh, having that repair on top of all the weathering that's already gone on will just be that much more authentic really. So most of this is pits that's the only uh, above surface bit of dust I'm feeling or seeing right now. I cleaned out the edges pretty well and uh, you know, if I spent more time sanding and painting and sanding maybe two or three more layers this surface could get to be a really smooth beautiful thing like it is here and there all throughout this area even the top came out nice but that could still use a few more layers and even as a base silver it looks really sweet in person So going for the white layers, if I wait another 24 hours then this should be much more thoroughly cured and when the white goes down on top of that, that should cure that much faster. What I've been finding for the last couple times is that when I've gone for a quick white over a base of silver such as on this piece. It'll dry pretty quickly, but it remains tacky. This is day two, and it's still just barely tacky. I wouldn't want to mask this for fear of ripping it up until that's fully cured. But if either way I'm waiting an extra day, then I suppose it doesn't matter which day I wait. Maybe I'll hold off. You know what? Let's disarm, put everything down, walk away and uh, come back to this in a little bit. It's a fairly good assessment of where it's at now. I am just about ready on the designs and uh, I'm posting those on the Rebel Legion but I'll have to w incorporate a lot of the photos and design work into these videos at some point and you'll see. So thanks for watching. See ya. So to slake my spray painting thirst, I came over here and decided to do the inside edges. I wound up spraying silver all over the place just as a base coat essentially, but none of it's going to ever be seen once everything is sealed into place. So paint drips such as that going on there, or up there, or even up there in the middle, no one will ever know. But I can always flip this upside down too. So that'll keep for another 24 hours and then I can do the outside in primer white.